Hi, I'm Diana, founder of ZeroWork. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the ZeroWork agent. Open the page creator.zerowork.io slash download agent, then hit the button download for the system that you're using. I'm using Mac, so I'm going to download for Mac. If you're using Windows, hit download on Windows or Linux for Linux. In the next step, I'm going to show you how to install the agent, which is very straightforward. It's the same process that you're already familiar with for any other desktop application. You just basically hit install and then you double click on it so that you have it. All right, so I'm going to open the folder download so that I can uh, activate my agent. I'm going to move it to the applications folder like so. And uh, now I'm going to access my zero work agent from the applications. So the applications folder is in your favorites folder like so. So if you expand it, you will see the applications right here. Now double click on zero work so that it's activated and so that it's running on your system. When you hit uh, double click for the first time, you might also see this warning download it from the internet, you sure you want to open it, hit open and now wait a few seconds for the zero work agent to be added to your toolbar right here. As you can see on top right, you now can see your zero work agent. The zero work agent does not have any user interface, so don't expect to for anything to show up. It simply basically sits on your toolbar ready to receive task boards and run them. You can see the version of your agent and you can log in here to your scheduler and webhook service. Okay, so now you can simply continue with creating your first task board. So be sure to watch the next video where I show you how to build your first task board. And there are no other steps required for using your zero work agent. The process for Windows is even more straightforward. It's also similar to what you're already familiar with in other desktop applications. Hit download, hit install, and then on your bottom right side, there will be an icon for zero work. And when you click on it, you will see a version and a few other options. All right, now let's move on to building our first taskboard.